Hey guys, welcome back. Shannon here. I just kind of wanted to give you a quick update on my setup and some of the new tools that I just picked up. First, I wanted to show you this kind of new setup that I have where I'm sitting. Um, we picked up this shelf. Um, it has some books on it. So Mitch has a channel. You guys should all go check that out. Um, it's about health, wealth, and technology. So a lot of the books that we've both read about those topics are on this shelf. And also I put my book right here next to the Elon Musk book. We also set up this Philips Hue light. I'm just going to turn the camera so you guys can see that. So this is the Philips Hue light. So what's cool about this is that you can change the color of the bulb to give your studio a different vibe. So as you can see here, that's just changing up the mood of what it looks like in my studio um, into all different colors. They also have ones that are just different shades of white light. So you can use those in anywhere in your house where you just want to have different shades. And what's cool is that you can actually control them with Siri. So if I said, hey, Siri, turn Tommins off, please. It will actually turn that light off, which is kind of awesome. So, hey, Siri, turn the Tommins back on, please. I'm actually just going to turn it back on for me. Um, so that's really cool. I really like having that feature in here. Previously, I'd had it in the background, but kind of moved it to give more of a cinematic vibe to my videos. Anyway, I really think that that adds a nice touch to my videos and it also just looks more professional. We had a really long weekend. We did a lot of moving. So on Saturday, we went up to Vermont to Mitch's great uncle's wood shop and we picked up a bunch of tools, which I'll show you a little later in the video. Um, we also on Sunday helped one of my friends in Cambridge move and we picked up this shelf that I got. Um, for the setup actually and he also gave us a new router so that's kind of cool we kind of made a little trade there we helped him move and he got us some stuff so shout out to Lancelot for that stuff the router that we got is actually really cool um, it's going to allow us to limit the bandwidth to our IoT devices so we have a bunch of smart plugs the light bulbs all kinds of stuff like that and we can tell the router to give those just a little bit of bandwidth and then give our computers more so it's going to make our internet speed faster um, because we do have a lot of devices on our network. Now I'm just going to take you into the other room to show you some of the tools that we picked up in Vermont. I apologize in advance for the quality of the sound on these clips. I did not bring my video mic in with me to the other room. Mitch has a really nice Rode NTG video mic that we use when we're recording in the studio, but I didn't attach that to the camera when I filmed these clips, so they sound kind of bad. I'm sorry but I'm not gonna redo them. So next time you live and you learn, I will have better audio. Sorry, I don't have the most steady camera hand here, but these are just <laughs> some of the things that we picked up um, from Mitch's great uncle's wood shop. So first here, obviously a bunch of wood. Um, so you can see there, there's like all different types of different woods. We also got a bunch of these Bessie clamps, which are really nice. And we got this little workbench, which is on wheels. Um, we put our printer on it. So that will be just a nice little station to hold the printer. And we used this cardboard box to create a little shelf under it for more storage space. Another interesting thing that we picked up is this spinning cart. So like the little shelves on this cart spin. And we put some of the tools on that cart to organize them. This is one of the things I'm pretty excited about. We got a Craig. In these drawers are some of the more corded power tools that we got. So we picked up this little saw. Um, it's really like looks small and kind of gimmicky, but it's actually super powerful. We were able to use it to cut through some shelves. So I'm pretty excited to see what stuff we can make with that. Next is this router that we picked up. So with that, we'll be able to add some nice finishing touches to things that we make. We also got this little mouse sander. So it's a little corded sander and you plug it in and you attach a pad there and you can just use any one of these little sanding pads to sand your piece of wood. Um, I'm pretty excited about this because it can also be used to sand down paintings, also the bottoms of mugs and pottery. So I'm excited to start using that one a little bit more. We also just organized some of the tools that I already had into this drawer. So I'm just resting the camera on the workbench now and I'm just going to kind of show you what I think are most useful. 
So I have this little Dewalt drill. This one I actually had before we went and picked up more tools. Um, I think it's really useful for everyone to have a little drill. Um, this one I like because it's small. Um, it has a battery, so I can just recharge the battery um, and can bring it anywhere. And it's really nice because you can hang things and build stuff and it's just a great tool to have. Another tool that I have that I think is really useful is my staple gun. Um, I used this in college when I was building canvases, but it's also really useful for just generally building stuff. These are some more obvious ones to have, but a level is always really useful. I use it for hanging pictures. You can see there behind me on that wall, um, I have a picture hanging and a level was really useful to get that straight. Um, this screwdriver, again, if you have a drill, it's not really that different. I recommend a drill over one of these, but these are cheaper. So what's cool about this one is this is a cobalt brand. So I'll hold that up. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know if it's focused, but this is a cobalt brand. Um, what I like about this is that you can unscrew the bottom and all the little bits are kind of held in there. And it's also a ratchet. So what that means is that you can kind of screw and it will like twist in for you. Anyway, those are some of the tools that I picked up over the weekend. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions about the stuff that I picked up or any more questions about tools in general. I can make a video that's more centered on what you should have in your toolbox as an artist. If that's something you guys are interested in, let me know in the comments down below. And if you found this video useful or at least interesting and insightful, please give that a like. And don't forget to hit the subscribe if you want to see more content from me. I'll be making videos every week about art and growing your business and what I've been up to in my art business. Also, tips that I've learned to help you. Anyway, this is just a quick video to kind of show you guys what I've been up to this weekend. I just wanted to show you guys a little part of my life and what I've kind of been doing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.